everyone. Uh, this is my version of this month's Maven challenge, looking at the NYC taxi data between 2017 and 2020. As we show a static snapshot in our LinkedIn submission, um, and I don't have access to Power BI service, and I usually use Tableau, um, I thought I would just give a brief overview of the features of this Power BI uh, uh, dashboard as it's actually quite dynamic, as I think most people's are. Um, if we go to the top rear view mirror, um, we have the required selection for the fiscal week and fiscal year. So we've got this on the drop down. We can go down and choose whatever week we want and also whichever year we want. Um, this one I had was week 27 of 2017, um, but we can change that so it gives us um, the weekly data at any point in time. Um, as I move over towards where the steering wheel is um, on our dash, uh, this is giving us the week over week change. So we have last week's trips, uh, this week's trips, and then the week over week uh, percentage change. We also have the number of trips during the week, and what the projected um, trips would be for next week. Uh, moving up towards where we have these type of speedometers that we would have in a taxi. I have the average weekly trips, average fare, and average distance uh, for that particular week. Um, what I've also included in each of these is the overall average for the whole data set. So for instance, here we've got 192,000 trips for this week, but for the whole data set, the average is 126. So we're slightly above or a good bit above the actual average for the whole data set, but our average fare for this week is slightly lower and average distance is slightly lower. Uh, if I uh, move over to the middle of console, um, we have just the popular pick up and drop off uh, locations. I'm just showing the number of trips for each. Uh, and then as we move across to the maps themselves, this is just a representation of where exactly these areas are for the pickup and drop off locations. So these are pretty interactive. You can click in East Harlem North, which I think is most popular. If I click on that, it should bring it up here. And again, it should filter the entire dashboard. Um, so we see um, the pickup and drop off areas. You get last week's trips, this week's trips. Um, you also get the average, average fare from there, and average distance traveled. Also, the pickup times are shown here, etc. So, it's um, it's a pretty good thing to have. So, if we come out of that. Uh, we move up to the top right, which is the last piece. I think a lot of people have this type of arrangement. It's uh, showing a heat map for our pickup times during the week and on the 24 o'clock here, so from midnight through to 11 p.m. So we're showing our um, more dense uh, pickup times or sort of the evening rush hour. And there's a little bit in the morning rush hour and then in the weekends, we have the at night, early morning, um, high density as well. Um, well, that's it. Thanks for taking the time to have a look. I uh, hope you enjoyed this month's challenge. And hopefully for next month's challenge, we have a much smaller data set to work with. All right. Thank you.